so last week i decided that i wanted to experiment with doing a vegan lifestyle but i didn't want to jump fully all the way in there's this challenge that's coming up called a health reset and i was like you know what that would be interesting for me to do but i don't know if i am able to make make such a hard transition and to be able to do it peacefully and sustainably so i was like how about i just look into it a little bit and i came across this model that was basically called raw vegan till four so the idea is that you know from the time that you wake up until four o'clock you take on a certain um, lifestyle and then after four o'clock you know you can go back to doing your thing as normal and when i came across that i was like you know what that actually sounds doable um and that sounds like something i could accomplish so i just decided to go ahead and do an experiment to see if like that lifestyle could work for me how my body responded if i felt like it was something that would work out for me so i can come back another time I can come back another time and talk about my experience with um you know trying vegan till four plant-based till four raw vegan till four whatever you want to call it um but i think that what i want to focus on today is the method um doing something until four o'clock as a way to help with transition or as just a way to kind of help you move forward with your goals in a way that feels realistic and sustainable you guys know that i'm all about finding ways to reach your goals and doing it in a way where you can work with yourself and not work against yourself so i'm all about realistic i'm all about sustainable and um doing it in a way that just makes sense for you because one size doesn't fit all you know some people may have the energy and the capacity to do it like cold turkey and make that switch and you know they can be quite successful for us some of us we need to transition more slowly and so i'm just all about providing people with options so that they can ease into the lifestyle changes that they want without being able or without creating shock to the system so um so yeah i kind of gave you guys a little bit of context about where this idea came from um so i'm going to share a little bit about my experience with it and why i thought the till four method worked out really well for me um so you guys know i'm a trial and error girly okay so just because it works this one time doesn't mean it's gonna work for me forever but it can work for someone forever so that's why i like to spread the ideas so the reason that this worked out really well for me was number one it was the perfect amount of discipline i found that just naturally around three to four o'clock actually that felt pretty easy to me it was a little bit after four where i started to notice my motivation start to wither and so i'm like oh perfect i'm not within that time you know zone to be eating like a particular way i can do whatever so um yeah i just felt like it didn't require me to use an extreme amount of discipline slash mental resources to be able to do that it was the perfect amount um and yeah it allowed me to give myself grace for being imperfect and for approaching this as if it's a transition when you're transitioning you don't expect anybody to be a hundred percent you know when they're transitioning so it was nice to be able to give myself that same grace and understand that i'm in transition and that i'm not perfectly there and that is totally okay another reason that i felt like this method worked out for me is because it allowed me to try on the hat of a new lifestyle um and like still go in and learn strategies learn techniques learn recipes and learn what i needed to do in order to make that transition smoother sometimes when you try to make like a hard cold turkey change into a new lifestyle you're not really prepared like you don't really have all like a whole game plan fleshed out and so like you fail quote unquote fail um because like you didn't really have the skill set needed to be able to sustain that so i like this method because it's a way to begin to develop your skill set without waiting until you're perfect to begin developing that skill set and um you know once again allowing yourself to be to have that grace because if you're not prepared if you don't have the skill set you probably aren't in a position to be able to take it on full time so it's like this kind of helps you begin to develop that skill set in a way 
where, you know, I know that I'm not fully there. I'm not fully a black belt, but you know, I'm a white belt. And so let me start putting the pieces together with the goal that after I do this for a period of time, I will have enough skills. I will have enough resources and enough know-how to be able to extend this or do this longer if I want. The next thing is I like that it's something that can be scaled up or scaled down. So let's say you're trying to take on a lifestyle change, for example, healthy eating, and you don't think that you can make it to four o'clock. Like you can scale that bad boy back to two o'clock for all I care, or to noon or something like that. And so I think people try to do it when they say, okay, I'm just gonna eat healthy breakfasts this week and the next week I'll do a healthy lunch. Or, you know, I've seen people kind of do that to take on a new lifestyle change. So I feel like it falls within that same bucket, just a different spin on it and a, a new perspective to look at it. Um, sometimes I know that I'm personally someone who I, I am motivated by freshness, I'm motivated by newness. So like I mentioned, it's essentially the same thing, just a new attitude and a new perspective to look at it. And for some of you, that might just be the motivation that you need to uh, give it a try and to kind of jump back on the, uh, the bandwagon to help kickstart your transition again. Um, another reason that I found this method to be really good is it takes away the thrill that of cheating on your diet, the thrill of um, like getting off plan. Sometimes I believe that like when you're trying to take on a new like lifestyle plan, for example, healthy eating or keto or whole foods or plant based or whatever, I feel like it's not sometimes it's not about cheating. Sometimes it's not the cheating that is the most exciting part, if you will. It's not that now I get to eat this burger that's going to feel heavy on my stomach and give me a headache and make me feel disgusting. That's not the most exciting part of it. I think excitement or the fact that you feel like you're cheating or you're doing something wrong kind of intensifies the excitement. And it's like, I think a part of that is experiencing those emotions and the high that you get when you feel like you're doing something that's not right. And so, uh, and then even like the emotion, I don't know, I just feel like it's, it infuses that experience with more emotion when you feel like you're doing something off plan or you're doing something not according to the rules. So when you adopt something like plant-based until four or whatever lifestyle until four, it kind of takes away that heightened experience, if you will. For example, when I ate that burger, it's like, okay, like you did it, now you feel like crap and it was fine because it was outside of your goal. Um, but like and you can literally do this every day if you want to and be just fine And I'm like when I'm just left with this was within the rules This was totally fine to do and I'm just left with how Disgusting I feel and how my tummy hurts and how I have a headache. I'm like it doesn't really sound you know that appealing anymore Versus when it's like I can never eat a burger for the rest of my life. You know what? I don't care I'm gonna do it now like, you know, those are just two different those evoke two different emotions, if you will. Um, and so I find that even like the other day I had a cookie. By the way, Oreos are vegan, so it wasn't even off plan. And so it took away that heightened experience of, oh, I went from you know one moment, I'm like, I'm never gonna have a cookie again to the next moment where I'm like, you know, enjoying the cookie and there's that heightened experience. It took it from that to like, okay, you can eat the cookie. Oh yeah, I see your headache is coming back. Yeah, go ahead and enjoy. You can eat as many as you want. And so it didn't even feel appealing anymore because I'm like, oh, this is a part of the plan. Maybe I don't want to do this. So anyway, I thought that that was an interesting experience. And I do think that you know, like I said, eh, cheating and doing something that's off plan, I do believe it creates a heightened emotion and that's what people are like chasing after, after and then on the other side of it, you feel like crap. And now with a plan where you can quote unquote cheat, you know, after your discipline runs out, it kind of takes away that heightened energy from it. And um, for me, I feel like I, it's just less appealing because there's no heightened energy at all. It's just, I feel like crap. And I'm like, it wasn't even worth it. So. <laughs> Um, all right, the next thing here that I have is, I feel like it's very, like it's an opportunity to learn a lot. So there's lots of different angles that I could take with, you know, plant-based until four or vegan until four or raw vegan until four. Like whether I decide to adopt this lifestyle fully and become a vegan full-time, raw vegan full-time, I could do that. Or 
if I just want to do plant-based until four for the rest of my life, like I could do that as well. If I want to stop the experiment completely, I've learned so much about how my body responds. I've learned lots of uh, recipes and sauces and uh, we went to the farmer's market for the first time in accordance with, you know, trying to find uh, fun ways to engage with this lifestyle. And so I've had so many experiences. I've learned, I have so many things to add to my tool belt that even if I decided to quit the experiment completely, I think that there are things that I'm just gonna continue that I learned as a result of this lifestyle. So I just like that. You can use it as a learning tool, as an experimentation tool to help you learn how to navigate this new situation and this new lifestyle. So maybe as you're trying to um, slowly transition, um, like as you're trying to slowly transition, you'll have lots of things in your tool belt now as a result of an experiment like this. So um, the last thing that I wanted to talk about is application. So the reason I made this video is because I came across this trying to find, um, trying to figure out if I have what it takes to do this raw vegan 21 day challenge. And I still, I don't know if I have what it takes yet, but um, I was like, you know, this is actually really good and it can have a lot of different applications. And this is something that I haven't heard of people using in different like in different applications in terms of like making lifestyle changes like you know we've all heard about small tiny habits we've all heard about incremental habits we've all heard about um you know breaking down your goals into smaller bite-sized pieces and so on and so on but this is a strategy that i haven't heard across or heard or come across before so um i was trying to think well what other applications could this be used for uh so obviously nutrition is a big one because you know once as i mentioned before this is not like a one and done kind of thing it requires ongoing attention and sometimes it can get you know exhausting after a while to try to take on a new lifestyle and to do it all at once cold turkey but i'm like what else could this be applied to i kind of like it as maybe a tool for controlling screen time y'all know summer is coming up and um, if your kids are going to be at home, that's going to be a challenge is trying to keep them engaged and entertained and not asking you if they can be on the TV and tablet all day. So maybe putting in like we're screen free until noon or something like that. Um, and so those are like the main two applications that I have. Cause I was even thinking like, okay, um, cleaning and maintenance and stuff like that. Most of those cleaning chores are like one time tasks. So like uh, make the bed or whatever. So th those types of things don't make sense, but maybe it's like, you know, I stay busy until 10. I don't know, or I don't know. I'm just trying to think, but I would love to hear if you guys have any ideas or suggestions, or if you see any other ideas for application, whether that's something for you, your family, um, your kids, like uh, focus until 10 or something like that if maybe you want to have like a distraction free time to get work done and you put your phone away and stay off the social media apps until a certain time and so that way it's the perfect amount of discipline it doesn't feel like um you know you're trying to make that transition cold turkey you see the light at the end of the tunnel and it's more motivating when it feels like it's not forever but um yeah so i just felt like it would be a good transition tool so if you guys have any other ideas or things that um you think we could apply this to to experiment with please let me know um i feel like health and nutrition is kind of like one of the main frontiers that i would like to really have a breakthrough with this year last year i felt like i learned so much but it's just that consistency piece and so i feel like i'm really excited about using this tool for that reason and so I'm like beyond, you know, nutrition, which has been like, and uh, healthy lifestyle, which has been like my big focus for the last year. I'm like, where else could we use it? So if you guys have any ideas or anything, definitely let me know, drop them down in the comments. Would definitely love to have this conversation with you. Um, and so, yep. And so thank you guys so much for listening to this episode. I will check in with you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.